So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute uh, to Dr. Uh, Sri Sendu Mandal for scoring a very good rank of 337 in DM Medical Group in the year uh, NEET SS 2023. Congratulations and best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much to you and your team as a whole. Fantastic to listen to you today morning. And uh, it's nice that you could allocate time for this. And uh, definitely, sir. And it's uh, an honor. It's an honor for me, sir. To talk to you. It's great. Pleasure is mine. And uh, can we know a brief background of yours from where you started till date? What are you have done? Uh, definitely, sir. But because uh, I have been in this journey for very long, so I can't ensure that it will be very short history. No, no, <laughs> okay. <can> take your <laughs> Actually, sir, uh, my. Uh, my career started in 2001 when I was admitted to Arjigal Medical College. After completion of my MBBS in 2006 and my house stuffship in 2007, I appeared for NIT PG and at that time I didn't got MD medicine and so I pursued my next dream of MD pharmacology during the year 2008 to 2011 in Arjigal Medical College itself. After that I got into a job of assistant professor pharmacology. First, I was posted in Arjikar itself, my alma mater, and then I was trans and was promoted and was transferred to Medical College Kolkata. After a few years, uh, because I had done my housekeeping in medicine, I felt that I should do something more to have more acumen regarding medicine. And I appeared for MRCP Ireland wow. and I have completed successfully in single attempt by 2017. Congratulations. And that time I was teaching. As an assistant professor, I was practicing in my own clinic. So all those things were going parallelly. And somehow some of the junior faculties at that time in medical college were also sitting for niche PG. And they said, uh, sir, why, didn't, why don't you sit with us? Because you were getting so much interest in medicine. So in a preparation of one and a half months, I actually appeared for niche PG after 10 years of my first MD. That's in 20. 18 and successfully by the grace of God and blessings like seniors like yours, I again cleared MD medicine in first attempt. Fantastic. Congratulations. <laughs> and then, and then I've completed MD medicine from the oldest college in Calcutta in Asia. That is medical college Kolkata in 2018-21 batch. And strange enough, during this second residency, 10 of my colleagues were actually my students. So the second residency was completed with them. Okay, okay. <laughs> so after 20, in 2021, after completion of MD General Medicine, uh, I actually appeared for NEET SS for the first time. And, and during those days, that was the last time when NEET were in an older format of subject preferences. Okay. So I appeared for endocrine and nephro. I got a rank of 501 in nephro and 156 in endocrine without any preparation from any courses, just from my base knowledge. Because I thought something to be better, so I didn't uh, got admitted that time. So again, I took uh, coaching in 2022, not from speed, from a different uh, coaching center. And I got a rank of All India of 916 in 2022. And I opted for DM Hepatology at ILBS okay. Delhi. So, but again, as I always think that everything occurs with the wish of the Almighty, my family conditions became such, my mother became so much ill. She was diagnosed with Liu body dementia by that time. My God. And because I'm the only son, I couldn't prioritize my studies in lieu of my mother. So I left DM Hepatology, which was one of my dream branch. Uh, from a, a center like ILBS, mm. where Dr. Sarin was there. Mm. So I couldn't continue and I left ILBS just within six months of my DM in the month of July. Mm. Again, because my mother said that, please try to appear the next time because she was now feeling having a guilty conscience that I left the studies for her. So I said, ma'am, only two months is left behind. I won't okay. be able to do anything. So she said, just believe in God and yourself. I hope you'll do better. Then by that time, I got one of my friends who actually subscribed for speed. And because of his generousness, he actually shared his speed 
and he said that uh, i am doing a different coaching so you can take this subscription at a subsidized rate so i bought it from him okay and so uh, for and that too also for three months so there was a very less time left with me hmm. so i couldn't go through those el elaborate videos uh, so i used to go through some specific situation uh, some scenarios where harrison with things tables were discussed i appeared for six to eight grand tests and all because of this 15 years of my rigorous practice in medicine uh, and some baseline knowledge because I was been teaching there for so many years in medical college. So this time with a preparation of only three months, I actually cleared up and cost scored a rank of 337. And now I would like to pursue DM in Kolkata. So some colleagues in Kolkata so that I can stay near my home and family. Uh, uh, specialty uh, remains the same uh, the of choice uh, of sir actually I, I i intend to take gastro if not if i don't get it in a right college so i'll be going for nephro okay so very uh, long uh, beautiful very long run sir very right long, now right now beautiful right successful now story truly inspirational sir right now i am 40 plus so i have started my career 2001 i i have seen my students as my colleagues but again, I always believed in myself and I always thought that uh, if someone tries hard and be honest to oneself, he can achieve with the blessings of Almighty and his parents. It's possible, sir. It's possible. Very nice. Very nice. So, you had uh, the dream and you have just to move towards it. And yes, I mean, irrespective of time, irrespective of uh, yes, uh, problems, irrespective of things, yes, yes, you yes. have just moved towards it and today you have achieved it. And during this period also, sir, I could only manage four to five hours because I work in government of West Bengal. I do have a clinic of my own. I do have a family, a kid, my mother to look upon. Through all this, I could only manage four to five hours. But I'm happy with what I have done because I was throughout honest to myself and my patients because I always think that seeing patients would actually enrich you as a physician nothing else could enrich you perfect perfect <laughs> and uh, it was a great opportunity to talk to you today because uh, <laughs> thank you sir thank you sir. Uh, it is uh, see the consistency and the persistent the matured way of taking things yes, and uh, handling at the uh, right things at right time yes. and waiting for uh, the finale, the final climax yes. and to face it is very good. And I'll tell you this video should be watched by as many students as possible, both the people. Yes, sir. I think at times people get demotivated or they get depressed when they don't get their uh, expected ranks or maybe subjects. I think perseverance is the key, sir. So ultimately, at the end of the day, what you wanted to become matters more than the process. Yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely. So, And I still believe, sir, if you are honest in your path, in your path of your goals, the one, one person, Almighty would always light, guide you in your way, no matter what comes. Right. Just believe in God, sir. Perfect. Perfect. I'm a, I'm a very I'm a very common person, sir, with some uncommon dreams. Very common person. <laughs> so, uh, how many number of questions did you attend this exam, doctor? Sir, again, this credit goes to you. I actually I I'm a very conservative type of person. Just because I saw your video a week before the exam, where you said that try to attend because that would actually give you give you a, a advantageous position. So this time, sir, I I attempted. 140 questions almost great or you would have stopped to be around 130 if not for that yes yes okay so very good that will give you a push uh yes yes sir. definitely definitely because the ratio is four is to one so that actually helps someone so what is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants and uh, in your language in your style you can inform them so that that kind of message can be taken by them sir believe in yourself and believe in god everything would come at the right moment great now time to thank 
whom all you want to thank that they have built your career till date. You can take this opportunity and the platform to thank all of them. Sir, so at the outset, I'd like, like to thank my parents, my family, my wife, and also with all those people, right from the group D staff of my wards to the nursing staff, to my professors, to all my patients who have taught me each and every bit of medicine. Everyone has taught in their own way. So I have learned everything. I've started learning IV cannulation from one of my nursing staff way back in my internship days. I've learned to use how to open up a oxygen cylinder from a group D staff. I've learned to see patients clinically from my professors. And I've also started uh, learning a lot of skills from my colleagues as well, like intubation. I've learned intubation not from any teachers, from one of my senior colleagues itself. So everyone has their bit of share in my life where I'm today right now. So I'd like to thank everyone who has been there and also to all people who actually didn't help me in a direct way. They are in their indirect way of not of saying no to me has actually pushed me there so that I can do it by myself. <laughs> Congratulations. Once again, we wish you all the very best and all the success to have a great career and DM super speciality, whatever you're going to choose. Either Thank you so much. Or nephro, whatever it is, kindly inform mm -hmm. us after you have taken the counseling. And yes. uh, and we will be always uh, looking up to you as a great source of inspiration. Uh, Thank you, for many, many students in years to come. Best wishes once again to you, doctor. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.